So, a few things before we start, oh I guess, uh, really just one thing, and then I will do the rest? Don't tell me we need the digging mitts for this. Um... Uh, we are, like, close to a digging mitt, so... <laughs> I'll just go in assuming that we need it. Um... I am... Um, oh, I now finally have a initial goal, um, for this map, and, uh... That is to get all of the, um, level 2s and 3s for the three new characters as they're dotted around the map. Um, some closer than others. Um, so, what I'll be doing first is, um, hopefully we'll be able to spread up this way since, um, this is where Sears level 2 is and, um, this is where Wizbro's level 2 is, so once we get Sears, we'll go back and, um, get Wizbro's, or maybe even, um, I'll take a detail if we ever need a better Wizbro. Um, only problem with that, though, is, uh, <laughs> this is where Sears' level 3 weapon is. And if it's like the previous map, um, the f I, 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 yeah, no, the um, final mission was, like, up, up here, um, but something's telling me it's, like, up here now, for whatever reason, um, yeah, uh, <laughs> kind of weird to not have a goal until, like, the fourth episode of a new map, but, um, in one way, I wasn't really sure on, um, what I wanted to do in the first recording session, oh, yeah, session I had of this episode, oh, yeah, of this map, um, hmm. But yes, um, new, I guess, something that is different since last episode is, that, um, I need, oh, now have earphones, um, in and uh, it's kind of a little bit awkward as um I have actually, yeah I'll, I'll let this play out just in case we ever need to uh take a um a thumbnail screenshot um yeah uh, as I'm listening to music using my wireless earphone or my headphones and uh, that kind of hurts somewhat. Like, they're not the most, um, thingy thing. Doesn't... I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out how you, um, zet again, um... Because I... Maybe it says... Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yes, C2. Um, kind of just noticed that, uh, if Rizroy is really good at taking down bosses with, um, spin attack, like, with his spin attack, assuming, um, Zent would be too, uh, <laughs> in fact, like, oh, getting back to the whole headphone thing, um, my current situation is, like, a lot worse than what it should be, as, um... Um, because... I know this just sound weird, but, like... Because digital movies have, like, really odd, um... Audio mixing, um... I've just taken to cutting out that problem altogether by using headphones and, um... Because I have wireless headphones, oh, yeah, why, uh, Bluetooth headphones, it's like, I can just wear these and, uh, watch the movie from my bed. 
<laughs> so um, I had to charge my headphones. Um, which shouldn't be that hard to do. Like, I think I did. Like, I didn't have to. It just I would have much rather had. Like, like I'd rather not take the chance. Sort of thing. Um. And that's not the only thing I'm charging as, uh... I'm charging up my controller because, um... I guess it has been a while since I last charged it. Because this one, like, can hold a charge. Um... It's like, it's... Okay, okay. it's... I'm sounding really bad now. Um... The, yeah, the thing. Uh, although I guess um, my Switch Procon is uh, not really um, at fault since I have been using it quite a bit lately. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess moving on from that. Um, I played the first four worlds of Rayman Origins to see how... Um, the Procon, or the Switch program, the yeah, Procon would work with, um, Roman Origins, and, uh... <laughs> I want to say, in most cases, it is the most, like, it's, like, the easiest experience I've had, like, yeah, the most smoothest experience I've had with it so far, like... It, it, it's weird, um... Like, I'm not sure if it's just the controller, or just the fact that, like, I've played the game a few times, but like, I've been having a much easier time with the mosquito levels <laughs> and 100%ing them, and um, those can be a pain to do that in one, like especially in solo mode. Um, hmm. Here's hoping that we didn't really need to do that. Um. I think since, like, on this case, since we did get the air rank, um, what I'll do for this one is I will, um, just maybe next episode, and uh, not really next episode, um, yeah, 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 um, because this one is, um, a mission, or, like, a timed mission, um, I'll mention and oh, I'll mention what the reward is for this one, and maybe uh, even where um, you need to search. Although I think it's just the digging tile over there. Um, um, I have a few things left to say, but uh, let's actually no, search the level first, Altis. Might need to do that. Um, um, blah, 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 blah. Really not a fan of how it's used. Okay, we're getting a candle. That's a trade-off, I suppose. Um, actually, I'll see um how Imp is doing band-wise. Um, since Imp was one of the characters I oh, characters I slacked on. Um. Okay, um... I know we should be fine on the Silver Badge at the very least, but... Yeah. Let, let's take the overly safe option and give her that. Um, okay, so, um... See you in a few minutes, I think. Huh. Right. Choose the fucking button first. <laughs> that might help. Yeah. Do we really not have a good nugget nada? Really? Well, I mean, I guess I did slack on. Oh, sorry. Not that surprising. Um, I think before we get into the uh, mission itself, I will mention that. Uh, 
Yeah, we needed the digging mitts for the previous level, and uh, we did get a hot container. And in fact, I'll have a um a thing in the bottom corner where it's like, hey, uh, <laughs> this is the important parts to take away, I, I guess. Um, also, um, something to mention about this level, and I guess in this map, um, I think I might have mentioned this before, but pretty much from this point on, um, don't be surprised if you see warriors using weapons from other warriors. Um, for instance, um, Zelda was using um, the... Uh, Hylian sword. Uh, yeah, um, it's. I, I kind of want to say like, it's a reference to a glitch that can happen in this game, whereas oh, that you can um, uh, use um, different weapons than what you're normally supposed to be able to. Um, but I think because of like the timeline things, it's like. It might just be a an intended feature that they didn't really have enough time to implement, so they just thought of um doing it a different way. Um, but yeah, uh, things are definitely beginning to heat up. Um, as we had to fight two giant bosses in this level, and um, there are more than just one warrior to go fight. Um, not to mention, it was a very, oh, like, it was a longer level. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, for the most part, for these levels, it's not so much worrying about the kill count, it's, um, worrying about surviving, um, the time limit and not going over the damage limit as, uh, that can be something that can get interesting. Um, I remember um, in the 3DS version, uh, one of these missions like can spawn like three giant bosses in a very small area. It's like, oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Um, but basically, this wasn't a such a bad mission, although I think, um, time limit aside, this might actually be a really good, um, material grinding level, as, um, there was Zelda, um, Ganondorf, Girahim, um, and Goma and King Dodongo, as well as a, a lot of, um, a Star Masters, so it is a good grinding thing, it's like... I'm not sure how I feel about the fact that it's going to take me 8 minutes per round to do. Sort of thing. So I want to say, um, quickly before this ends, um... These types of missions would be a really good idea to, um... Aim for the 500 KOs within a single, um magic mode use thing, uh, achievement to aim for, um, I've come close, but, like, I haven't really reached the 400 mark, even if I'm not really, um, aiming for all the achievements, but, uh, yeah, uh, back to current time ulties, I suppose. <sighs> yeah. Oh, boy, um, that definitely was interesting. Um. But yeah, uh. Like, I'm not sure if it's just the controller. Just getting back to the whole, um. Of Rayman Origins and my Switch Pro controller. Um. But, like. I, I seem to, like, have unlocked a. Like, hidden, um. God spam mode, uh, where I was able to go absolutely ham on the A button, um, for one of the, um, Mesito levels. I mean, it made my head hurt like fuck, but, 
<laughs> it was worth it, and, um... Yeah, um... I'm not sure if I mentioned it last time, but... I guess last recording session, but, um... I brought... Oh yeah, I, I mentioned I brought Splatoon, um... I've been playing a lot of Splatoon? And because I am a brush main, um... I am... Um... Car... This one definitely could be interesting, um... <laughs> uh, yeah, uh... I am punishing the fuck out of the ZR button, um... So I'm just hoping that, um... Oh, right, okay, of course. Um, Zelda was given a new weapon. Um... In this mode. Well, in the DLC. Um, hmm. Uh, yeah, uh... <laughs> I've been enjoying the fuck out of Splatoon. Um, too. What we have here, um, weapon wise. I mean, it's recommended, so we may as well go with it, right? Um, yeah, uh. I, I just really hope that I don't end up breaking my controller. I mean, Nintendo, um, console, uh, con uh, yeah, products do, um, take a lot of damage, but, um, I, think I really don't like the fact that they didn't, like, put anything to soften the blow of, um, the unlock sticks, because, like, okay, book builder, um, because, like, <laughs> Even, like, spending 40 hours playing, I think it was, like, closer to 6, no, it definitely was 50 or 40, um, like, I'm just spending 40 hours playing Odyssey, um, there's a bit of visible damage on my left, um, analog stick, because I, <laughs> I was spinning the fuck out of the thing. It's like, I don't really know what... I'm Fine, we'll go this way. Like, I really don't know what the fuck that was thinking. Um, with that whole thing of like, um, just like not doing that. It just looks like just going through the dress. I'm assuming the gimmick came might just be defeat Lana. <laughs> um. <laughs> Like, I d have noticed that, like, a lot of the costumes, um, I guess a lot of the outfits don't really work well. I'm hoping that might just be a Wii U version thing. Like, I'm hoping they look a little bit better in, um, uh, the Switch version. Because, like, um... When I was originally playing this on the 3DS version, um, I guess with the 3DS version, um, a lot of Zelda's outfits didn't look quite right just due to the fact she, like, her movement is made, like, made for an outfit that is like a dress split down the middle sort of thing. And just, like, sometimes, sometimes it just doesn't look right. Um... Okay... Do you wanna f you, No, I'll, I'll, I'll take solace in being able to have a shorter episode. <laughs> just noticed that this was, like, the third episode. I was like, ah, eh, maybe I might... Oh, third level, I'm like, I might do, like, another one. Maybe. Um, hmm. But yeah, uh... 
<laughs> oh boy. Um, I'm a little worried about my switch controller, especially with um my extended use of this. Thing. Uh, maybe I sh Oh, right. Part of the gimmick was that we couldn't use any items. Okay. Um, hmm. It's a little bit hard to think to do in this situation. <laughs> but yeah, but the whole um, costumes thing. Um, even while she is standing still, her guardian time outfit just doesn't look right at all. <laughs> and in fact, like, quote, um, in the animation, oh, in the cutscene where she goes to take things out of the chest, um, the entire backside of um, the coat just <laughs> goes up with her. It's like, what? Oh, the... I guess the good thing is that, um, well, I guess the good thing is with using, um, uh, the scoured, um, scoured sword of robes, um, for Zelda, uh, <laughs> where you won't have that thing with, like, her, um, loincloth, I, I guess, um, gets stuck to her leg and just glitches the fuck out. Okay, um... Okay, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't really need to imagine it, but, like, if there's, like, a big presence of, um, Splatoon music, uh... Just note that down to the amount of time I've been, I've been spending on playing Splatoon 2. In fact, um... I haven't even had the game long enough for the game, or like for my Switch to register an actual time for it yet. It still says started playing nine days ago, sort of thing. <laughs> and ugh, that looks weird. Okay, can we can we burn it with fire? <laughs> Coming from someone who actually likes Scout or Zelda. Although, I guess if you didn't like Skyward Sword Zelda, then you might have a few problems. Potentially. Like, I don't know, it just feels... I think I mentioned this before. Um, it just feels so weird that um, Skyward Sword and Ocarina of Time, despite being um, games mentioned in the story mode, don't get any representation apart from a few costumes, and even that was DLC. It's like, what? Why? Though I guess, like, a lot of things don't get representation until DLC. But, like, a... A Skull Sword-based map would be fine. Okay, um... Yeah, I guess we start going up. Um, although I would like to see if I can go over here. Um, so I know the um, I'm, I'm tempted, but I don't think we have the strength to do to do that well just yet. Um. I would really like to go up from this point, since that will take us to a harp. Um, oh, and of course a harp spawns down here. Um, although I guess we'll just worry about the harp, all harp levels until we need to, I suppose. Um, hmm. So I guess next episode... Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Is this seriously the first episode on Long While that doesn't need a back end? Although, I guess it still needs a voiceover for, like, this level. Um, hmm. Weird. Um, 
yeah, next episode we will um, unlock a costume for Agatha. Feels weird to say that. But until then, that's when I'll see you.